hello viewers welcome to my channel well today we shall be conducting another experiment on refraction exam bodies might want to test your knowledge on refraction i might present you with a glass block to determine its refractive index or the prism to determine the refractive index of this glass we have to use a method called the minimum deviation to conduct this experiment the apparatus needed for it is of course your glass prism you need a protector a ruler your optical pins your pencil a sharpener of course and an eraser say you are given a prism triangular prism and an angle of incidence of say x degrees is given to you this is your angle of incidence x given to you after giving you the triangle and telling you to draw the outlines of this triangle maybe it will tag m and o these are the points of your triangle after drawing it take the prism out you find your angle of incidence say that i equals x degrees could be 30 40 whatever they so please i equals x degrees two pins used on this incident is um, assumed to be a ray of light so these two object pins will be placed on it then place this prism back and you'll be given two other pins to search for these pins but when light enters a triangular prism it refracts and on getting towards the other face that is the face mn it then refract again away from the normal so we expect to find it around here so let's assume you place your two pins here after placing this block let's assume you found it this way such that all four pins are aligned so we're having the p1 let's say this is a pin one pin two pin three and pin four all on a straight line so from your point of view from this angle looking through this face you will see everything as one so to take out your pins and take out the prism then you to join these pins to this face on this boundary here you have to draw your normal the best bet to draw your normal is just put your protector on your on the face and make it at 90 degrees because your normal is expected to be at 90 degrees right to the face so you just put it this way because it's expected to be a broken line so this is supposed to be at 90 degrees to the face just as this is 90 degrees to the face so it's advisable that you use a protector when you're trying to um, draw your normal. Now you identify your E. You identify your E, which is your emergent, Y degrees. And you have to note your R with now to get your R to link the point of incidence and the point of emergent. So let's just put a ruler this way and join it. So you join the point of incidence to the point of emergence to get your R refracted angle. And this is your normal because the light entering the medium 
at this point of incident tend to move towards normal then on coming out here you discover that the is your normal and it being here here now tend to look at an incident you tend to run away from the normal that's what's happening here this one to the normal this is away from the normal so to get your R you simply use your protractor back on it then you can check the refracted angle produced by this incident light let's assume it's z degrees and for your margin since we know that the normal is at 90 degrees just put your protector this way you have the first 90 here and from here the 90 you can calculate your margins and we said here it's like y degrees the next thing is to ensure and determine the refracting angle of the prism a usually for an equilateral triangle is expected to be 60 so let's assume this is an equilateral triangle you simply put your protector this way and calculate so you put the value usually it's 60 degrees right if you notice this is the only thing here that has um, a value so this is called the refracting angle a now in this whole experiment there's some part that is very key and that part is called the angle of deviation to get your angle of deviation you simply place your ruler on the incidence because the angle of deviation is the angle between the incidence and the margin so to get that we have to place our ruler on the angle of incidence and trace it on trace after tracing it we put our ruler this way on the emergent tray and trace it backward this point which is also the same as this is called the angle of deviation q degree so let's spell it all out First, we have A in this diaphragm list. We have A, which is the refracting angle of the prism. We have I, which is the angle of incidence. Next, we have R, which is the angle of refraction. And next, we have E is the angle of the margin and finally we have delta which is the angle of deviation so to determine your angle of deviation simply place your protractor on it and determine it this way so the angle between the incidence and the emergence is called the angle of deviation so when light enters a prism it is deviated by an angle called the angle of deviation the amount of this deviation Cost by this prism is determined by one the angle of incidence two the refracting angle of the prism and three the refractive index of this medium now there exists a point in the cost of adjusting the angle of incidence where the emergence equals it now at a point where i equals e we say that the deviation is minimal at i equals e and we would say that the sum of the refracting angle 
of the prism and the deviation d equal twice the angle of incidence hence i equals a plus d divided by 2 and at that same time when i equals e the r plus this r here if we follow the reversibility principle of light reversibility principle of light says that light will flow the same path if the direction of travel is reversed so if this is the direction of travel and you decide to reverse the light it flow the same path right so here can also be r that is the refracted the angle of refraction so the summation of the angle would, would be equal to this so at the time where i equals this a would also be equal to 2r so if we make r the subject of this formula we'll be having r equals a divided by 2 observe this now let us substitute this value into this Snell's equation we recall from the previous video I showed you this sign and I will sign R for the refractive index if we substitute the value of I from the condition that has to be met at minimal deviation which is a plus D equals 2 I Level i equals to a plus d divided by 2 and a equals to 2r which means r equals to a divided by 2 on substituting the value of i and also for that of r this would give us a new formula that refractive index should now be a plus t divided by 2 all over sine a divided by 2 with this formula we can actually determine the minimum deviation this now become minimum So at minimum deviation, this will occur, and also this. So you can see that when this deviation is minimum, this and this will be equal. And at that time, the refracting angle of the prism plus the angle of deviation will give you twice. The, and this plus this will give you this on completion of the experiment you're going to tabulate your reading and repeat the experiment for different values of i so when i is say i at 40 or 50 and on and on but you might do the experiment for a minimum of five times now you to tabulate your reading so on tabulating your reading, it will look something like this, say serial number, that is 1, 2, and on and on, all right? Then the next you get your value for, then your I degrees, then your R, then your E, then your deviation, delta, or maybe D, the instruction says. Now, say the first value of i was, uh, say, 30, and the next 40, and on. You find the value of r by measuring with your protractor, right? You repeat the same for e, measure with your protractor, then your d, measure with your protractor. You do this same process for different value of i and tabulate your reading. On completion of this, you 
might then be told to plot a graph of deviation against incident that is deviation against incidence for the different values of deviation you indicate here and so for i you do same as you increase angle of incidence the angle of deviation then to reduce then it gets to a point where the angle of a deviation increases now you will discover that you get a curve what this curve tells us is that as you increase the angle of incidence the angle of deviation reduces until a certain point called the minimum deviation so with this formula you can determine the refractive index of this glass prism. Remember, the instruction will be as follows. Place the prism, draw an outline of this prism, say M and O, right? Take it out, find an angle of incidence of which will be given to you. You locate the angle of incidence, say X degrees, whatever value it is, maybe 30 degrees. You place two pins on that incident ray. Then you replace the prism then look through this face and search for the pins with two other pins called P3 and P4 so when you locate these two pins with this such that all four pins are aligned you take out all your pins and your glass prism then you begin to mark them out or map it out this way then after that, you put your ruler back on and trace your incident out. Then trace your emergent backward. You determine with your protractor the angle of deviation. Just as you find the emergent and also find your angle of refraction. With this, I believe you can effectively carry out the experiment, please. Don't forget to ask your physics teacher for um, a prism to work with. I wish you the best in your exams. Thanks for watching.